All right, guys, we're back with uh, one of the other upgrade electrical mods I'm going to do to this, and that is to increase the wire size uh, on the inside of my welder. Uh, right now, it's got uh, 14 gauge in here, and I want to upgrade it uh, to the 10 gauge, which is the same size as this. See, this is the uh, this is the other wire coming in. I want to upgrade it to this size. You can see that. Uh, there's a significant size difference here and here and what that'll do is it'll uh, it'll allow the uh, transformer and the rest of electronics in it uh, here to uh, breathe a little bit better as you could say transfer current better so the things we're going to use in order to accomplish this are uh, some tools here and the cable I went ahead and cut some more off my uh, cable there it was about a I guess about a foot and a half, maybe two feet, to make sure I had enough cable to do it. Uh, you need an X-Acto knife set to cut the wires. Uh, you'll need some crimps. I bought these off eBay, and these are the ones out of the out of the set that I took out. Five of these for the jumpers and pigtails. Uh, these are for the piggyback uh, terminals. Uh, you'll need a pair of wire cutters to cut the wire to length. You'll need a side needle nose to get some of the uh, crimps off or wire terminals wires off they get they put them on pretty good uh, you'll need your uh, crimper uh, with your teeth with your 1012 uh, size you'll need some half inch heat shrink to go over here to keep these insulated and a pair of scissors to cut them and you'll need a candle lighter or a heat gun or some sort of uh, apparatus to uh, go ahead and heat the heat shrink so with that said let's go ahead and get started uh, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and remove all the zip ties here on the unit right here that are involved with the electrical that we're going to be doing and there's uh looks like four of them here uh, one two three four and what i'll do is i'm going to go ahead and reuse these uh, in order to reuse these uh, you just stick a blade down in here a really fine blade you come in on the side and you flip it up and you get underneath the locking tab and then you can push this out and then when you go to put it back in you just use it like a regular zip tie and push it back in the hole and that way you can reuse the zip tie uh, not all zip ties are reusable some have metal tabs in here and they're really hard to use and unlock but you can do them uh, but this particular unit has uh, nylon ones so let me get all these off of here and then what we'll do is uh, then we'll trace out the wires all right, I wanted to show you kind of how I did it. And notice I stuck it there in the locking, behind the lock right there. And then I just used my thumbnail and I pushed out. Now you can grab your finger and just pull like that. And you can see it's, uh, it's between the lock and, and where the zip tie would go in. So I'm just going to do that with the, with the other three here and I'll put them on the table. All right, I've got all the zip ties taken off. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to follow where where those where the wires come out of the main power switch, and those will be the ones we change. Um, when you switch the power switch on, it takes power from here and it connects it to these wires. So we're going to go. We'll start off with this big one right here, and we'll follow it down, and it comes to this one. So let's go ahead and we'll take this off. We'll take the pigtails off right here and then we'll build the cable and then we'll hook it up and then we'll put the pigtails back on and that'll be it for for the L1 phase so let's go ahead and do that real quick we'll get these off of here I think I can do this uh, while you guys are watching there we go there's one so let's uh let's follow this down and it's a good idea to just do one at a time there's two all right so now we can get the pigtails off of here. Let me do that. All right, here we go. Let's, I got it loose already. So let's go down and do the other one. It's just hanging down here. We got that one. All right now, this is the one we're going to build first. All right, I got it out. So now we're going to set it over here. And then the cable coming off that we're using is black. So we're going to stay with the same color. All right, we got the cable out, and we went ahead and uh, marked it out with the other one. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it, and then we're going to install these uh, these uh, piggyback crimps on them, and uh, we'll 
cut some heat shrink and stick it on there too. All right, for you guys who didn't see the other video on how to uh, crimp this, I thought I would just throw this in here. Inside here, there's uh, there, the metal stops right about here. And then this is all for the insulation to fit up inside it. And then on the top side of this, the same side that has uh, the curly tops, there's a split inside there. And that side, uh, when you go to crimp, will be on the round side. In this case, it's this way. It will be on the round side, which is on the top, and the tooth will be on the bottom. So let me go ahead and get them stripped back, and then I'll show you. All right, I've got it stripped back, and basically what you want to do is you want to strip it so that the insulation stops where this hump right here stops, and then the copper goes through, and then the copper, you should see a little bit of copper sticking out the end before you crimp it. And I'll show you that. All right, now that we've got it done, uh, you don't want to cut into the wire, so be careful when you're cutting the jacket off of this. And you want to put this in here, and then when you're putting it in there, you might want to just barely twist it a little bit so that it goes in. And then once it goes in, the insulation should stop. And then you should just see the ends of the copper coming out right there. So just see just a little pigtail out there. All right, now we're going to get the crimper. And remember, there's a split on top. And then where the split is, is where the round side on the jaws go, and the tooth goes on the opposite side of the split. Then you want to have this uh, halfway between where the insulation stops and where the copper comes out. So that should be good there. Make sure we're round side, and, and then you grab it with two hands, and you give it a give it a crimp. Keep your keep your hand flesh out of there, and your fingers out of there, because trust me, it'll mess you up. All right. And when you got a good crimp, you see see a nice little round spot here, and you should see a, a nice little dimple in there. You should still see the copper coming out the end, and you shouldn't see any copper on this side. And then you give it a good tug and it should stay in there and you should still see no copper so that's a good end right there now what we need to do is we need to get some heat shrink and we need to cut a little bit off here with our scissors about that much and we'll run it up the other end right here right up here We'll go all the way up to the top, and then we'll hit it with the lighter. All right, let's try this again without the fan. There we go. And that's all you need right there. And then this will keep this from shorting out with any wires next to it. Uh, before we do the other side, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut off another piece of heat shrink. And I'm going to use this for when I do this side over here. I'll throw that down there. We'll get this up here. We'll line this up so that the copper looks like it would just come out the end. And then where the insulation would stop in here, that's where we're going to make our cut. Right there. So let's cut this off. And you got to be, uh, be careful when you cut this. Not to go through and cut the wires inside. The conductors inside. You just want to cut the jacket. So let me get this uh, cut off. There we go. That should be good. There we go. Try not to mess this up because it barely fits inside that uh, uh, the crimper there, the piggyback crimp. So we get this, and we've already got our insulation or our heat shrink down here. So let's get the top on it and twist it just slightly. We're putting it in to make sure it goes all the way in. I'm going to do our uh, crimp. Now remember the split is on the top where the two ram's horns are, the curly tops. So you want the round spot on the top. And you want the uh, you want to crimp it halfway from where the insulation stops and where the copper comes out. Two hands on it. Keep your hands out of the crimp. Out of these jaws right here. 
Give it a tug. Good. No, no copper on this side. See copper coming out. And we'll get the, uh, get the heat shrink up here. This is half inch heat shrink. And then just get your lighter and you know what, whoop it up a little bit. That's all you need. All right, we got ourselves one cable built uh, to replace this cable here.